All right, so it's going live, and we're live. Hooray. Hello, everyone. How is everyone? I'm going to pop out this chat window Oop, and move it over here so you guys don't have to see it. All right. That wasn't my fault, by the way, guys. That was all him. Thanks. Thanks for immediately throwing me under the bus. I appreciate that. That took you all it's of three and a half seconds. I, it's a new hey, world record. It's, uh... I, knew, I know for those first two <laughs> seconds, you were like, I don't know, maybe... Oh, okay, we'll, we'll just throw them under the it's bus. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. Yeah, I'm, uh, you'll have to forgive me. I'm eating dinner late. We uh, grabbed some sushi on the way home. So I am going to shove sushi in my face occasionally. So I bought some of these acoustic tiles, and I have them all, oh, around, my, all around my computer. Those so are... hopefully... Hopefully it will help with the uh, reverberation that people were saying they were hearing. Well, I think you just wearing that headset is probably going to help to a degree. Well, I had this headset on last time. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what Nitro, it was. you just picked up a GT2 RS? Who did? Where? Nitro in the chat. I don't see that. Nitro Fish 11? Is my chat like super delayed? The last thing I see is Adam A. Yachts working. Oh, there it is. I just <laughs> totally missed that. I'm blind. <laughs> Forgive me, everyone. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Well, hey, that's badass. What year GT2? Oh, what uh, what year GT2 RS? <laughs> Sorry. We um, need to take a uh, a trip up to New Hampshire, right? And go. Go drive this thing. Oh, getting back to your Porsche video. 992 Targa 4 GTS on the way. Nice. Those are you awesome. You didn't buy it from uh, Porsche Austin, did you? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Talk, Adam. I'm going to shove food in my face. Sorry, I'm, I'm hungry. So I'm just going to sit here and talk while Dan eats. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we're very professional. So I'm just going to, you know, fill the blank the white noise out because dead don't air your, is it says don't let your dinner get cold but sushi it's don't let it get warm <laughs> yeah it's already cold <laughs> it's already cold <laughs> you want it to be cold yeah so um a funny story that will probably become a youtube video i don't know i gotta review the footage um just to see how it looks because i don't want to like make it look bad um so, and I'll probably have to go over the story again in a little bit, but when we went to go get sushi, the uh, parking lot at this place is terrible. It's like super limited parking, and um, we were coming back from the Howard, and so Stephen is here, and we were in the Ferrari, so there's like, the back row of parking is like tiny little compact car spots, right? And it's Texas, so everyone parks big trucks back there and takes up two, three spots or whatever. Anyway, so there's a big truck, then there's three spots, and then another vehicle. So I'm like, oh, well, I'll just park right in the middle spot, right? So I park in the middle spot. We go inside, get our sushi. And like as we're getting our sushi, I see this SUV slowly wandering around the lot and then like pulls past where I'm parked backs up directly in front of my car and parks and put the, puts on its uh, hazard lights. So we come outside and the lady's getting out of her car right as we're coming outside. I'm like, excuse me, can you please move your car? Very politely. And she's like, no, you parked over three spots. <laughs> what? I'm serious. And so she just goes inside. And so I'm like, all right, I guess we have a Karen here. So <laughs> So she parked in the middle of the lane? Yep. And somehow that was better than you yep. parking in three spots? Yep. <laughs> okay, then. So when she came back out, I filmed it. And just and it was hilarious because this random dude who parked his big-ass F-250 next to us comes out, and he's like, "What is?" It? we're like, can you believe this lady just boxed us in? And he's like, you gotta be kidding me! It's so when she came out, me, Stephen, and this random dude were all just bitching at her. <laughs> what an idiot! I filmed idiot. it. I filmed it on my cell phone. I, I haven't looked at the footage yet, and 
So, thank you anyway. for the five dollars, Mousetrap. Yes, by the thank way, thank you, Adam. Show us on the doll where Dan did the boo boo. It's okay. <laughs> You're in a safe place. Thanks, um, thanks, Mousetrap. So yeah. I got a letter today from uh, the Georgetown courthouse. Georgetown. Well, that's where my ticket was originally. Uh, they said that they said that I didn't make my court date. Uh, didn't I you hire a lawyer? Yeah, I did, and I emailed him before we went to Colorado, and I was like, "Hey, dude, like, I just want to make sure I'm safe to leave the state because the court date's supposed to be while we're in Colorado." And he was like, "Oh yeah," he was like, "When you get a lawyer representation, that court date changes, uh, so it'll be another date, and you don't have anything to worry about. We'll take care of it for you." I'm like, "Cool." So I haven't messaged him since because i don't want to be that annoying right, customer right. like constantly like, constantly harassing. yeah but at this now at this point i'm like well maybe i need to be that annoying yeah because you probably have a warrant out for your arrest <laughs> well but see that was the thing is you would think that it would say that right like yeah. you would think the letter would be like oh you have a warrant out for your arrest blah blah blah, blah. but it doesn't say any of that it's just like we haven't heard from you like it's actually like really polite and everything like that oh. so by the way, Steven, if you want to join us, feel free. Okay. <laughs> Steve, Steven is one of the guys that came on the tour this year, happens to be in town this weekend. Anyway. Oh, so hey, Adam, Adam says Adam is the Texas lawyer. So uh, look up Adam Raposa. He's a <laughs> Texas lawyer, actually. And even he says that you don't represent yourself. Uh, and he is the best lawyer ever. Watch watch a video about him. It's like an eight minute video. Uh, yeah, Adam Raposa. You want to look see. at it? Hi guys, I've got your show blasting through the barn, putting <laughs> my horses to bed, badass. My black racehorse says hi. She's representing the black horse on the Ferrari shield. Very <laughs> cool. I like that. <laughs> I like that we're being played right now in a barn. Yeah, <laughs> horses. <laughs> They were just like, that guy's talking oh, shit right now. Baron, are you, you're not in town until tomorrow, right, Baron? So, oh, okay. I didn't hire Raposa to him. I'm just saying, I wanted to. He never got back to me, the bastard. So we may have to do this a few times because uh, there's not that many people here yet. But we have a giveaway freebie thing. I don't know what you want to call it. So here's the scoop. Baron on the chat is a hero. And uh, every year, he, he and his buddies rent out an entire studio or an entire suite at Coda. That's Steven. I want to get his microphone ready. Oh, oh, he's double fisting it too. <laughs> uh, I'm bringing refills. Hold on, let me get you mic'd up. Otherwise, <laughs> they can't hear you very well. Okay. So, um, so Baron and his buddies rent this suite out at Coda for the SVRA. Oh, here, put that on. Somewhere like here, and then I don't know. Just tuck this in your shirt. You know, I always okay. picture you like dressing a kid anytime you put a microphone on somebody. Like when you do it to Josh too. Like at the <laughs> Howard, you would like dress him up and well, stuff. Like, I don't know why. People, I I'll only, oh, only reason. Oh, don't let him lick the mic. No, I know. He just, he just licked the mic. <laughs> He's like, go for it. Come on, come on, come on. Go, um, go for it. Only reason I put the mic on is I want to get the right distance. You know, like does it? Does the beard get in? In, in no, the, no, your beard's fine. It's beard. the distance from your mouth because if you get it too close, it like just distorts like crazy. Oh, look at you! You're going all like. All right, so you're going hardcore on it. I haven't seen this ever. Is anybody? Oh, there it is. Star Wars twofold. So it's Star, all, it's Star Australian Wars? whiskey. Yeah. So I was like, Australian. fuck it. Let me try try it. You know, like sure. So uh, this is my first time. Anybody know anything about this? Comment. We'll I didn't know it. that Australians made whiskey. Right? I thought that they were all beer. <laughs> hey, Gabe, how are you, brother? <laughs> no, Tyler. Hey, Tyler, what's up, buddy? We got a bunch of. I gotta get down. I gotta get down to New Mexico, and we gotta meet up, have beer, drive. Oh, obviously. and one other thing: everybody's always giving me crap about wearing the same shirts all the time and not wearing a company shirt. There it is. Look, look, look. I'm wearing. Hey. I'm, I'm representing. Wait, wait, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Just so you know, Adam, you can buy our shirts at cost. <laughs> Just letting you know. 
In fact, I'll probably even say the company could pay for you to have some shirts. <laughs> just because I'm so nice. <laughs> Okay. Is there a reason why Adam has a Ferrari flag laying down behind him? Yeah, because I need to put it into the, hang it up in the garage if oh. I haven't yet. Yeah, oh, nice. Um, hey, someone said, are we going to Miami for F1 next year? Uh, possibly, quite possibly. Uh, we have a friend who really wants us to go. We do? Yeah, Pietro. Oh, okay. He really wants, he's got a buddy who was like, hey, I'm going to buy a bunch of tickets for F1. And Pietro's like, great, go for it. I'll, you know. And so he's like, hey, they're only like $3,000 each. Yeah. are like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, you got the baller stuff. Ah, see, we're cheap. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, oh. we're on a budget? Yeah. Anyway. Oh, so back to uh, the story. Talking about Baron and this possible giveaway real quick. Okay. Bear with me, people. Hold on. You might, you might be interested in this. Okay. Take it. Anyway. Baron's a hero. His buddies are heroes. They run out of suite at Coda every year for SVR8. They're doing it again this weekend. Baron contacts me and says, hey, would you like some tickets to SVR8? And I said, yes. And he's like, would you like to give away some tickets to your viewers? And I said, that would be awesome. So <clears throat> Stephen got one of the tickets. <laughs> Adam got a ticket because, well, he's you know part of the company. And I have one more ticket. So... Any of you that happen to either be in Austin or can get to Austin in time, in time for this weekend, probably Saturday would be your best bet. I have a ticket for you to come hang out in the suite with a bunch of gearheads, have a ridiculously fun day, and see a ton of cool racing. So, and if you're cool, we may take you to the Howard to watch F1 on Sunday. And Sunday we're gonna watch F1 at the Howard. The Howard is fucking awesome. Cool. Oh, so you did go? You did go to the Howard. That's that's part of why it took us forever we to get were home. We a were little like, bit late. We were hanging out in Austin. Cigars. Richard was all like, "Hey, you guys want to smoke some cigars?" And he's like, "Yeah." And I'm like, "I'm I'll in." Sit here. I don't smoke cigars, <laughs> but okay, we'll sit here. I didn't know Richard smoked cigars. So I guess it doesn't surprise me though. Yeah. So he was. Doing that's, a, a, it's classy, and yeah, Richard is all things classy on, new on his new air filtration system. In the Howard? Yeah, to see if it'll pull, like purge the cigar smoke. So it doesn't Did damage it? anything. Yeah, yeah. Well, we don't know. This is the test. He'll know tomorrow. This is the test. Yeah, we'll know if it stinks tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> if it smells like cigars tomorrow, it's out. Yeah. <laughs> Got to smoke outside. <laughs> All right. So, yes, we took the 458 to get sushi. Mm -hmm. Normally, I don't really for that parking lot because it is kind of a like, eh, parking lot, but I've done it a few times. Usually, it's not a problem. I just happen to get Karen. Um <laughs> Eh, whatever. Uh, let's see oh, what and before it goes off screen and we forget, thank you, Mousetrap, again for the other $2. Yes. Adam, we did see it. Marketing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah. And oh. there's a lot of marketing space here that can be filled up. And as Baron said, lunch is provided on Saturday and breakfast on Sunday. So, see, dude, anyway, if one of you wants this ticket, hit me up, email us, whatever, mm. something. I, I guess the trick is, you know, it's in You have to two be days. here. <laughs> it's technically tomorrow you could go too, but I don't think anyone's really going tomorrow. I think everyone's, like all of Baron's group, they're all coming down from Tyler. They all get in tomorrow night, so. So I will tell you that the that lot A at Coda is filled with trailers right now from yeah. all the, the people showing up. Yeah, I think we have to, to park race. in lot A and then kind of walk into the tunnel and go all the way around although oh that's right because they're on pit lake no there's a tunnel that goes under the under turn one yeah, yeah but you have to walk all the way around that no that it goes it goes under turn one no i know but you it's still quite a walk oh it's not no it's not yeah it's a good 10 minute walk no it's not i bet you it's 10 minutes i've done that walk so many times i know i have too i'm not saying it's a big deal i'm just saying <laughs> I'm just saying, and you can't park like right there. You have to... <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm the fat one, and you're the one complaining about walking. <laughs> I'm not. I like walking. Actually, I like that walk because going through the tunnel is cool. Because some car will go through and rev its engine. You're like, yeah. So anyway, have you any of you seen a 430 with the NART stripes? What's a NART stripe? Uh, it stands for North America Racing Team. So it's Ferrari's. North America racing stuff. Uh, I oh. have not. That would be really cool. I would like it. 
Oh, add another ticket in case they want to bring someone. Baron, you're the man. So, okay. So apparently it could be you and a guest <laughs> hanging out with us idiots, all three of us idiots, plus Baron and his, his whole crew. Lunch is included. Breakfast on Sunday. And so race breakfast cars. before F1 at the Howard. How about that? Could do that. Yeah, yeah. Go get breakfast, watch a little racing. Then I'll watch do it more because, and watch because more Coda is on the way to the Howard for me. Yeah, yeah. For you, it definitely makes sense. For us, it's probably not going to happen. Well, for me, you could do it because you're downtown. It's at least reasonably close for you. Yeah, it's not bad. But I'm, I'm way the hell up north. Anyway, there you go. So cool stuff. We're trying to hook you guys up. And then I get karen Get my sushi. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope the footage came out. I pulled the dash cam chip out, so I got to see how the dash cam looks. We'll see. Uh, Thank you, Ricky. I, sh I shaved before the live tonight. You look so sh so clean. You look, yeah. You look good, bro. Thanks, man. Right back at you. I, I, <laughs> I, I didn't shave. <laughs> Tim, are you going to SVRA? Is that what you're saying? I'm not going to wait for you to respond. I'll just keep talking and then, you know, respond. <laughs> awkward silence. Yeah. Awkward silence. I know it's delayed. It's delayed by a little bit. <clears throat> Love the Porsche Smasher Pass. Would you all do a Lamborghini version? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And I'm glad you, I'm glad you liked it because at there least somebody go. did. Tim is a guest. I liked it. I, I gave the thumbs up. I told you I loved it. I sent you a couple of possible cars. One was a Lamborghini, it too. Did, it did terrible. <laughs> it did terrible? The Porsche video today? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm depressed. I mean, man, it's... Let's let take a look. You, as a YouTuber, and Adam's starting to experience this, and he texts me about it, too. He's like, really? I will, too. When when you have a video you think is going to do well, and it doesn't. it doesn't, you just are like... Man, Josh man. Sargent's here. Dude. I haven't seen you in forever, man. Wow. It has been a hot minute. Yeah. You Oh, the lawyer... <laughs> we were just talking about my lawyer. The lawyer I have, he recommended to me. Oh, yeah. Funny. <laughs> That's funny. I got a letter hey, today from the court saying I missed my court date, even though I hired a lawyer. So James is here. Yeah. But will Papa Jones be carrying the F1 watch party at the Howard again? <laughs> no, uh, I'm not buying another $400 in Papa Johns. Man, two, so like for the F1 uh, whatever meetup, we had over 50 people, 54 people said they were coming, 54, and only like 30 maybe 35 showed up so i ordered pizzas for 50 people oh we had a lot of extra pizza a lot i wish extra. i'd have known because i would have came by and picked some up like the next day or whatever uh, i love Papa where John's would we pizza. put them there's no refrigerator i don't I day old pizza is okay as long as it doesn't have yeah it. Dude, yeah, i mean i've eaten yeah. tons of day old pizza <laughs> Yeah, uh, as you can tell, a years. ton of Dale's pizza. Uh, oh, did you see Tyler Hoover offered up his three forty eight for fifty k? I didn't. Um, I, I saw don't... his video. I, I didn't see his yeah, sell off yeah. video because oh, he yeah. followed. Uh, I saw that like Wicked. everyone's like selling all their cars. Yeah, which... they're, they're all doing the fire sale thing. I kind of like wanted to do a video that was like why i'm not selling all my cars because <laughs> i think it's like because we're not the typical youtuber because <laughs> like i mean come on guys like whatever anyway whatever i don't even want to go there because whatever but no i didn't see that it was for sale i i purposely avoided the chain of videos that suddenly every youtuber was like we're selling all our cars i'm like cool i don't care so I did not <laughs> click and watch any of those videos, just so you know. Because, honestly, none of them were truly selling all their cars because the ones they wanted to keep, they put an extravagant number on it so they wouldn't sell it. They were just calling the herd. Yeah. So. Whatever. It's not like, a real thing. Like, the thing is, when you have a fleet of cars like they have and there's a substantial number of shit boxes in said fleet, I mean... Is it really that big of a deal to get rid of the shit boxes? I'm just saying. No, it was clickbait. Josh, yeah. my turbo is doing good, Josh. I took it uh, to the Twisted Sisters on Tuesday. That was awesome. <laughs> With four other Porsches. <laughs> Sorry. James was like, sounds like one of my Crystal Hamburger runs. Uh, man, any of you that happened to see that video, which was eons ago, when 
when we were in Nashville with James and it was like, <laughs> it was like, Hey, we need to get some crystal burgers. <laughs> and, oh my God. The whole crystal burgers. <laughs> yeah. So James was like ordering it. He's like, I want like 40 crystal burgers. I'm like 40. And he's like, think that's enough. <laughs> Uh, I'm like, yes, dude, I do. So, I that's so bad like wanted Castle. to try oh. crystals one time because oh. I thought that they were great. They are terrible. They're terrible. Oh, don't say that in front of him. He'll don't say that in front of uh, in front of Scott. I have to say that I wouldn't eat them. I'll eat them. <laughs> oh yeah, I I mean I've oh, look at I me. Like do I look like seventeen of them or something? I mean, do, do I look like big. I wouldn't eat crystals burgers? I'm just saying they're not as like, great as I had hoped. No, like would. legit. Hold on. This piece of sushi is as big as a crystal burger. <laughs> like, that thick, too. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the core reason why he is the dumbest automotive channel on YouTube. Well, I mean, yeah. whatever. Like, he's got his little stick. Good yeah, for him. It works for him. Yeah. I mean, clearly he's doing better than I am. So, what, you know, like, what am I to say? Like... You I'm know. not angry at other people's success no. on YouTube. And like, I'm angry that they are successful and we're not. No, what I get angry about is that the shit that they pull works. <laughs> yeah, that's what if I'm saying. If I thought that would work, I would have done that. Right, I'm like, really? That, but then we'll, that do, we'll, we'll do it similar because we don't want to be complete copycats, just a little bit of a copycat. <laughs> and then it doesn't work for us at all. And we're like, oh, what the hell? Yeah, I don't know. It's frustrating. It's super frustrating. That assumes that we would are important enough to get invited to SEMA or could get tickets to SEMA. Uh, t getting tickets is easy. <clears throat> That's not a problem. Oh, is it? Yeah. We're, you're, you're media. We're YouTubers. We can go. I knew that you had to be media or whatever, but I still thought that they were somewhat selective. No, man. Like, they don't care. They let everyone in. You just file, You just <laughs> fill out the form... I got it when my channel had, like, way less people. But you were doing it with Shell, too, though, right? Yeah, but they didn't ever know that. They didn't know. Oh, okay. So, like, you know, Shell did a thing, but that was independent of SEMA knowing that I was doing a thing with Shell. Fred so. says I need to show more leg. <laughs> Boom. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Fred's gonna wish he didn't say that. <laughs> no, dude, don't. You know better than to tell Adam to do something dumb. He'll do it. God, it's like I know. It just, what is wrong with you? God, you know that just goes straight in and just go. Jeez. Uh, uh, I liked your supercar video. We've done a cowfall, like I don't know, like one or a thousand or so. Yeah. But thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta run, gents. See ya, see ya, sir. Apparently, you need some tacos, so yeah. You know. Who doesn't want some tacos? Am I right? Yeah. Oh, look at Fred. Fred, do you know French? I wouldn't be surprised. Fred always. Either that, or me. he's just running it through uh, Google, Google Translate. Google Translate. That's all I do. <laughs> yeah. See, like, no, Fred. Fred's like. Always knows all this random crap that I'm like, how do you know this stuff, Fred? Well, you know, because back in the day I read all these books and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right, cool. I read a book once. It was terrible. <laughs> it was a terrible experience. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> oh. I uh, drank water once. It was terrible also. Yeah, I should probably <laughs> drink some more right now. <laughs> Well, Dan drinks water all the time. He just drinks it in a can and it says Miller Lite. <laughs> It's it's like sprinkled with alcohol. <laughs> <Just sprinkle. laughs> I, I brought props. I brought shitty beer for you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Hey, but you brought you bought decent wine though. I brought good wine though. I'll take it. So, take it. Bill, Billy has a good question right here. Right, hey, Adam, since you are the resident Porsche connoisseur, I'd like your opinion. Would O three nine nine six turbo with a hundred thousand miles on it be something I should even consider? If a good price, or run away. Do it. Consider it because I have 128,000 miles on ours, and it is. I mean, there are a few things that you need to look at. Uh, you need to make sure that the coolant uh, block on the engine gets pinned uh, because it can puke its coolant. The uh, slave cylinder for the clutch can go bad. That's a, a fairly common thing. 
the wing can go bad as well. So there are a couple issues, but they're nothing that would make me run away from the car. Yeah, uh, and a good deal on them. Yeah. Uh, and Adam A, yes, uh, the Porsche is basically my daily. I mean, every once in a while I'll take the truck or whatever, but for the most part, yeah, it's my daily. So consider it, Billy. Consider it. Chewing. If it's uh, been maintained and it's in good shape, consider it. Yeah, I mean, if it's the price is right, cool. Yep. There. Mousetrap with $5 more. This is a PG-13 stream when I forgot to fry porn. I didn't mean it. How Keep those it legs down. <laughs> Look how, okay, there. I just got that from Mousetrap. Right, it, came, it came much later. <laughs> that was like just popped Five, up. six seconds after you. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> oh, you're paying him to keep his leg down? <laughs> you're paying him to keep his leg down. <laughs> yeah, good move. Now, but this is a business model that could make on. us a lot of money. People pay me to hide my legs. To hide oh, your dude. legs. <laughs> so, we could start a thing where it's like, the less people pay, the more clothes you take off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It's like reverse stripper. <laughs> oh. I'll pay you oh, five dollars. Oh, put a, put put a sweater on. on. Put it back on. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, were you affected by yesterday's storm? Did you have to break out the hail stopper? Uh, we, I mean, we had rain all day, literally from before uh, dawn till after dusk. It, but no, no hail. It was really coming down though. It was strong rain, but no, didn't put, didn't bother. It wasn't strong. It wasn't like a big enough storm. Reverse only Reverse fans. Only fans. I like it. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, so man. a couple of quick things since we got more people here. Again, quick reminder we are giving away two tickets to, to the SVRA races this weekend. So if you're in Austin or can get to Austin, get in touch with us immediately and we can get you hooked up with that you'll join us and baron and his crew and tim apparently is coming too so a lot of cool people are gonna be there includes lunch on saturday and breakfast on sunday so it's hard to beat that um oh another quick announcement as long as we got people's attention um through a generous benefactor we have decided ah. to <laughs> you, know where I'm, you know where I'm going. <laughs> we uh, are going to bring back the tour of Colorado. Yep. So <laughs> we and when we say, uh, be, you know, generous benefactor, we're not kidding. Yeah. Like, oh, fuck we yeah. you can, yeah, you can ask that we were we not. not yes, Stephen, we were not going to do it. No, and we were he, telling he him was the, out. He was out. 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 The and entire like, trip they were well, asking Well, I'm glad us. I got one in. <laughs> yeah. No, we were totally done with it because we lost money again. So we were like, okay, we're 0-2 on making this make a profit. So We're uh, done. But uh, we had a benefactor kick in on it. And basically he called me up and said, what do I need to do to make you do the tour again? <laughs> I said, well, we didn't make any money. That's my problem. He goes, what if I gave you a bunch of money? And I said... I mean, I'd probably do it again. So I said, okay, I'm going to give you a bunch of money. We said, write a big check, and he wrote a big check. And it came <laughs> through. So we're tentatively planning it for probably the last week of September or the second to last week of September. Most likely the last week of September. But here's going to be the catch. One quick catch. We're going to have a very short RSVP window, and if we don't get enough people, we are going to cancel it. So... What I'm going to do this time is take RSVPs, no deposit. It's the full, you have to pay it all up front because I'm tired of fronting $40,000. So other people need to kick in. And once we have enough commitments to cover the cost of the tour, then we will say, okay, it is locked in. We're doing it. And then I'll use that money to actually secure the reservations. And obviously there will be a 100% refund if it ends up not going long. Correct. We're not going to keep 5% or whatever. You will right, get right. Exactly. your full amount. But so. yeah, we, we just unfortunately we're just not in a position to keep fronting 40 plus thousand dollars and lose money on it. So why do you so spend so much up front? Because the it requires require it. it. The hotels, the when ho you're blocking off 
10 plus rooms. Uh, in some or cases, an entire castle. The entire castle. The whole castle, which yeah. was fucking insane. Yeah. They, or the entire condo. Yeah, the condo. Oh, condo, which was yeah. insane. Yeah, they, <laughs> they required 100% money up front, and you could not cancel within like a very long period of time. It was like, you know, more than 90 days. So, yeah. You know, it's like if you want to lock in the days, you have to pay up. So, yeah. It, it is what it is. I, I, don't, I don't blame the hotels. They have their policies, and it makes sense. Like, if I was operating a hotel, I wouldn't let someone reserve 10 plus rooms and then, like, you know, a month back out, out a like, week oh, before. Hey, guess what? I'm backing Give me out. My money. Yeah. But we agree with you, Ricky. It is. Uh, risky it's yeah. very risky that's why we're we weren't gonna do it again <laughs> so anyway uh so that's two big pieces of news there is a third little piece of news which we're actually gonna do There's a video a on it but um i want to talk about anyway since you know it's uh you guys who are coming to the live which is you know kind of like the hardcore like you guys are really into this stuff so uh the, that castle is up for sale i think it is or it I think it just did. Someone's mic. Oh, someone's mic is acting up. Oh, Who no. is it? I. You two sound fine. Well, I sound, sound fine to you because I'm using the other mic. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on. I wonder. We were having this with me. I don't know. I'm gonna put. I don't know. Let me set these out here. Okay. I think you know what I have to do is probably replace these two lav mics. Or unless maybe one of us was touching it. Is it still doing it? I Is never it? heard anything at all. No, I know. Here. You're you're hearing us on the other mic, not on these mics. Oh. They're hearing us on these mics. Hear a oh. popping? Hear My it. side. Hold on. I hear Actually, it now. I do hear it now. Hold on. I just muted him. So is it is it still test, popping? Test, 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 test. Hold on. Maybe if I shake this. Oops. Hold on. If I shake this around a little. Is it possible? Troubleshooting on the fly. You guys get yeah, to because experience this was a, it. This was actually a problem in one of our videos. <laughs> yeah, in a video today. It might yeah. Be hand, it went away when you pulled it out of your pocket. Is it still pop? Is it still popping? Popping? Looks good. It stopped That's it. Popping. That's it. Okay. Okay. Is it All still right. okay? We're still good. Now hold on. I'm gonna mute mine. Is it popping? Is it popping still? It's <laughs> Dan. Everybody's saying it's you. Yeah, I know. Well, I, I muted. I, I will say this. It's very unusual that it's you and not me. Still good? No popping? <laughs> no popping sound? All good. Son All of a right. bitch. All right, All guys. Right. Thank you. All right. Noted. Good that you gave us the heads up. I need to buy a new uh, lav mic for this. This mic has a short in it or something. Okay. Well, thank you. Actually, that's really helpful because we just did a video recently and... Uh, it had a bunch of popping sound in it, so I couldn't use a ton of the audio. Yeah. And it was really, like, believe me, when you spend a bunch of time creating a video, especially when it's like a DIY video, and then the audio is screwed. It's annoying. Uh, so frustrating. I don't think it's so, the connector. I think it's the wire. And it's then a, also, I'd like to say, again, before we forget, thank you to John and Mousetrap for their donations just recently. Yes. Thank you so much. We do, we do <laughs> appreciate all of that. You guys are too nice. Uh, 6K for Colorado, it's probably going to be around 6K, plus or minus a little bit. Um, I've thought about increasing the price a little bit because uh, basically we ended up having where everyone pooled their money together at the end for alcohol. And so it just worked easier when it was we just... We just paid everything It's just front. one thing. Yeah. So I think we're probably going to make it more expensive, but include the alcohol. That way it's just... Simple. Yeah, just easy. Um and the roads in Colorado are fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sit on it, Dan. I have it sitting right here on the table now. So No, that, that covers everything except for fuel. Yep, that yep. covers Fuel's your food and you. drinks. Food and drinks. All you have to pay for is you yeah. getting there, you yep. getting home, and your fuel. Yeah, you got to pay your own transportation. You got to pay for fuel. <laughs> yeah. So. No. Daryl, that's 6K <laughs> and windshields. Yeah, and, and windshields. windshields. <laughs> <laughs> no, that yeah. the oh, entry hey, price. The two, we lost our windshields. Mm. The entry price covers everything except for your <laughs> Who feet. covers the weed? weed. That's, you're on your own. You're on your own there. You do. You, well, you know, hey, whatever. You can 
whatever. Just don't do it right before driving. I don't care if you do it when we get to wherever we're going. <laughs> whatever. So that you have a night to trip balls. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, they all did it. Oh, actually, it may end up going up a little bit more than that, too, because I think I'm going to um, have it be that Saturday night, start on Saturday night. Instead yeah. Of Sunday. Instead of Sunday, because then we would do Pikes Peak. Pikes Peak. Because everyone really liked that. Oh, and it, was so, good. it was good. Yeah, there's no reason yeah. not to do that. So I think it would be one day longer than it was this year officially. Because everyone came to town anyway on Saturday. But, it would, but at that point, it would probably include your admission to Pikes Peak. Yeah, so. yeah. It would. No, the only it, person who didn't, and he almost made it, was Greg. Yeah, and that was only because he didn't make it into town on time. Right, that's all. He would have yeah. came. Oh, he would have, yeah. Yeah. He, he would have been tired, but he would have done it. <laughs> So, yeah, we'll just include all of that next year. So i got to work in that cost, which that won't make it go up that much. I'm going to guess maybe like three or 400 bucks because the hotel, that first hotel, I think, yeah, actually might well, be. Well, if you're competing against another company that's mimicking your whole tour, then it might be a fucking issue. Why you got to bring that up, man? Why sorry. you got to bring up, why you got to bring up a sore subject? Yeah. Here? Jeez. <laughs> Man, I'm why don't you just kick us in the nuts, dude? I'm not kicking you in the nuts. I'm <laughs> kicking him in the nuts. It's fucking bullshit. It's fucking bullshit that you do all the fucking work, lay out the whole fucking plan, and someone swoops in a week before you do it and does it before you. That's nonsense. We weren't going to talk about but that. Never, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to talk about that. <laughs> What's the cost to well, add a significant I, I might other? I tell everyone the story. Then. No, never. I'm sorry. I can at least I'm an asshole. Don't listen to anything I say. I, they like drama. We're yeah. on the live, so I don't mind telling it on the lives because okay. not that many people watch the lives compared to like the actual videos. <laughs> but um, there was uh, someone who participated in the tour the first time who asked to participate even though... Whatever. Anyway. Um, and they... Uh, I knew that they wanted to do it as a scouting mission for themselves to do their own tour, which is fine. But I didn't expect them to like copy paste my entire tour, including all the hotels and the routes and everything. And then and probably even the restaurants and everything. And probably the restaurants. And then they did it the week before mine. I mean, but. I will say I don't. Should I say this? What the what they told us at the hotel about those people? Uh, I mean that that was kind of funny, but that's just like that's just petty yeah, hearsay. It's yeah. just petty, but but it made us feel pretty good though. It it did make us feel <laughs> kind of good. So <laughs> you can tell them I whatever I don't care. We the the hotel staff said that we were much nicer and. Cool, a cooler crowd and more <laughs> laid back and everything like that, which is ironic because we were in you know a bunch of Ferraris and Aston Martin, a yeah. uh, Jaguar, and they were driving like you know non exotic cars, right. and we were the cool ones, and they were the assholes. So that yeah. made us feel really, really, really good. <laughs> yeah, I don't like. I don't mind if he would have like. Even if he would have copied the thing, I would have been okay with it if it had been spaced out. Wow, the week before? But literally the week literally before. Literally the week before. And like mine had already been scheduled for months. Like months. I, I, I was the first one to the hotel. I got there the first. And there was the 308. Yeah, it was still there. The broken one, right? Yeah. Because yeah. was that's why it was still there, right? And I'm like, oh, cool. Someone there is, has a 308. It's the car that I always wanted. It's the Magnum PI car. It's the car I always wanted as a kid, right? And, uh, you know, I'm talking to the people and like, oh, yeah, um, are, are you leaving? And I'm like, what do you mean am I leaving? Like, oh, the, the whole group, the group. The, they just left. They're just leaving. They, they left today. And I'm like, no, no, we're, we're arriving today. I had no fucking clue there was a second thing going on. Or whatever. I had suspicions, but I didn't know that they did the same place. Same place. Everything I mean, because like, I same. saw that he was advertising it because I got, I got all of his Facebook ads. <clears throat> and that's how I found out. And I was like, What? You kidding me? So then I just was like, oh, hell no. But then I was like, I bet, like, I just said it. I think I told you, Adam. I was like, I bet you anything. He's doing the exact same route, the exact same hotels. And so when we got to Colorado, I'm like, we need to find out somehow if they booked the same hotel. And sure as shit, they did. 
I wonder if they did the castle and everything. I don't think they did the castle only because I think he had a bigger group planned. What about the... Uh, did he do the apartments? I... My suspicion is I don't think he did the condos or the castle because those are expensive. Those are high dollar. High, high and dollar. And, like, he was <laughs> – he's trying to make actual money on it. He was charging more than mine, to be fair. But I think he was, you know, catering, he was catering to different people. The only thing that annoys me about it, like, truly irks me about it, is he would have gotten to do the canyon road because the rock slide happened <laughs> right, right the after day before him. us. Yeah. Fucking A. Yeah, the, the one fucking road I really wanted oh, to do. Dude, I was... I, I mean, I had a... On video, oh, I had to contain myself I was with so how mad. disappointed I was. I was so mad. Like, because he, that we that had talked so it up so it's, much. It's the best road of the yeah. entire dude. tour. And the funniest thing about that road is it's the least, like... It's the one you would think the least about. You wouldn't think... Because it's dude. not a mountain pass at all. No, it's canyon run. It's, it's a canyon, a canyon run. Yeah. run. It's fucking awesome. It's totally different. I stumbled over that canyon run on accident oh. coming back from Sturgis on motorcycles with my it's buddies. Amazing. And I was going to the Million Dollar Highway, and I'm like, hey, this one looks curvy. Let's check this out. And a hundred miles of curving canyon with a fucking mountains on so one side. So you've done that all. road before? Yeah, I did on, on, on my Harley. <laughs> I, me and three guys, we did that road on accident. I fucking Damn. pulled that one out of my ass, not knowing anything about it. I didn't know anything about that road. I'm like, this was like the best road of the trip. Oh, yeah. Like the Million Dollar Highway was fantastic, but it rained, on, it rained on us yeah, when yeah. we rode over it. So we had to take it slow. We didn't have to take that road slow. We oh, fucking no. hammered that, that road. road. That road that was is awesome. Like high speed, <sighs> beautiful turns, and nobody. There is... There's like, no roads. There's no side roads. Literally, that's the reason why we had a detour so far is there's zero side roads for over an hour of driving at 100 miles an hour. It's 100 miles of awesome just nothing. canyon of nothing. carving road. Yeah. 100 miles of just awesomeness. Yeah. Well, well. It was disappointing. I was, I was gut gutted for you guys i couldn't believe that you guys didn't get to do it and i i felt a little bad because i had been talking it up so much i know so was i and like, <laughs> i was you know the funniest thing is that was the road we were least concerned about having issues uh, right it's always it's always a concern about the big mountain passes is it going to snow yeah. is it going to be yeah. open is there going to be a rock slide all these other problems that like legitimately happen all the time and then that road happens to be the one that gets closed. Well, like, and so the, my first thought was, oh, crap, how long has it been closed? Did we screw up? No. Yeah. yeah. The and, day before. And, it was the day yeah, before. The day well, before. Once I heard that, I was still bummed out for you guys, but I was like, okay, thank God it hasn't yeah, least, been closed for like a, a month and a half or something. <laughs> yeah, something stupid like that. Cause then, and even that, I'm like, because we asked, like, well, how long is it gonna be for them to fix it? Like, oh, like probably two days. Yeah, we gotta bring days. someone in to blow the rocks up with dynamite. Yeah, well, and he like, shows yeah, me the good. picture of the rocks, and they're like four times the size of your car. Like they're as big as a house, and you're like, oh, damn it. Like literally, you know, like there's a three day window. We hit it the perfect worst three days. Wrong day. Hindsight well, the, being 2020, you guys probably should have just asked to go as far as you could and then just turn around. Well, I, I we thought of that. that. But then it would have added so much time. <sighs> Who cares? It would have been the the road, though, it like, that you would have been able open. to do. Like, nobody it would have been, been worth it, though. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Well, second. 2020. The other, yeah. Well, whatever. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so, we are doing... The tour of Colorado again, so you can experience these exact emotions if you would choose to mm. <laughs> next year, sometime late September. Not sure which week. Definitely gonna be late September. I'm trying to lock it down. Probably gonna be the last week of September, which would be like identical to what we had this year. Same as this year. Yeah. The only reason I don't want to do it the week before is because of the the Telluride car show. I think would interfere with our schedule severely. Yeah. That's there would be – everything would be so much more expensive if you could even get anything. Plus, there's going to be so many people around. The traffic's going to be worse, and I'm actually just concerned about the reservations. I don't think we're going to be able to get reservations yeah. that week. So. And as cool as a Telluride car show would be, um, 
Yeah, right. I, Tyler, I'm going there to drive. I'm I going there to it drive. Up and then fucking and we got screwed, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was. It is awesome. I hope you get to experience it sometime, whether on a bike or on a car or whatever. It's fucking awesome. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, Man, we, uh, oh, we need to uh, get a quack count and go over for him. Yeah, <laughs> he's right? he's, ch- well, dude, he's challenging it's, Josh it's, wait, for the it's, quack count. It's the beard of profanity. The beard of profanity. <laughs> it's the beard of profanity. Actually, <laughs> so Hootie Who Sorry. is asking, are you looking for help at the new shop? And yes, we are. What is it that you know? Oh, for do? Gated 6? Yeah, for the <laughs> conversion stuff. Yes, we are. Absolutely. I don't know what Adam had to stand up for, but okay. Just I was like... turning on my fan. Oh, okay. Um, so, oh, one more thing we wanted to talk about, um, by the way, feel free to ask questions and stuff, we'll answer them, but, uh, so we have a new, uh, supercar issues database. Mm. Oh yes, we do. It sounds so, awesome. Uh, we, we were thinking. For those of, who want a wrench. Yeah. Do you need a machinist? Probably actually. Probably mm-hmm. actually. Yeah. yeah actually, Emails. If you can. Possibly three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, send us an email if you're interested. Um, so <laughs> no coverage. Geico says no coverage if the road is closed. <laughs> oh, that's probably true. I didn't even fucking think of that. That's a valid point. I know. That is a valid no, point. No, that's like so if there's like if there's like the and wait, we have we have the the house fucking yeah, insurance yeah. Is guy. That true? Is that true? Adam? No, it's not true. Because oh. if it was true, then you wouldn't be co- then uh, they wouldn't cover drunk drivers and stuff like that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, totally intentional dumbassery. They still cover. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's not dumbassery. To... Well, yeah. I like that. Well, that's no, good. because, like, think about it. You have a, a road closed sign, road flooded, and people drive right into the flooded road, yeah. and then they get swept down now, the river. And that's then... not to say that your premium won't get jacked up or you wouldn't get <laughs> yeah. dropped as a well, customer. That's a different story. I'm not saying that, Drop. I'm not going to say that there's no repercussions. Yeah. But, okay. yeah, so, no, it would be funny. Database thing, real okay. quick. I want to talk Sorry. about this because it's... It's cool. So it's very good. We created the Supercar Issues database, which basically is a free, one hundred percent free resource for everyone to find out issues that have happened with supercars that have been documented. So it's free for anyone to go look at. Adam just linked it. It's also uh, actually we're going to pay you. We're going to give you five bucks off anything we sell for every unique entry that gets entered that we approve. So it can't be like a bullshit, you know, and it has to be unique and new. So like we can't, you can't put in like, Hey, my, my, you know, blah, blah, blah thing happened that 75 other people said the same thing. We won't give you five bucks. But anyway, the goal is nice. Your tool and die maker That's too. Awesome. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Get in touch with us. We could possibly use your help. Um, <laughs> But yeah, the goal is to create this resource that allows people to find out problems that happen with the car, uh, how many people have these problems, how many miles are on the car, how old, how much did it cost to fix, how did you diagnose it, did you need any special tools, and links to where to buy the parts, parts. to fix it. And so, like, and we're not saying like links to our parts, we're saying links to anyone's parts, because it's not meant to be like, it's only for normal guys who car. No, it's like, you found a part and it's on Recambi, great, link it. You found a part and it's on Ferrari's website, great, link it. I don't care. Like the, the goal is to get people to be able to fix their cars or understand what's wrong with their cars or find out how to fix it. Yeah, you should um, – yeah, yeah, there's a 348 section. There, so it only populates the data that's been entered. We haven't entered it. <laughs> right. You make a lot of money on a 348. Yeah, yeah, you could you, you can enter in stuff on if the 348. You... If you click the uh, Supercar Issues database submission, yes, go to the that submission. will bring up another form, and then that's where like you'll see like Ferrari 348. And it will list 250, 275, 330, 365, 246, Dino, etc. Like it's literally yeah. every Ferrari it's like in existence. Every Ferrari. So that's. I guess I should have linked to the. Uh, here, I'll give you a link, link to, the to the form submission page yeah. as well. Um, so it only populates data that, like he said, has been entered. So nobody's entered a two or a 348 yet. That's why you don't see it. Yeah, the goal is to get people that actually have problems happen to their cars to document it so that other people can look it up and see, oh, here's how, you know, this 
for, for example, let's say you get a code, you get a DTC code, and you're like, I don't know what the hell this means. You could search the database and say, oh, someone got this DTC code, cool. Here's what happened for them. Here's their fix. Here's how much it cost. It. Right. You know, that sort of stuff. So we just thought, you know what, like, that'd be really cool. It's a just cool resource for people. And we didn't think anything else like that really existed because... You can... At least not one place. They're yeah. fragmented all over the internet for different well, brands and, and, and here's stuff the other, like that. The other thing that I didn't like is that when you do find it, it usually comes with like a very healthy serving of criticism <laughs> <laughs> and bullshit. So like, you know, like you have some issue, you find someone post about it, and then all of a sudden you got like the peanut gallery of assholes coming out and be like, you could have fixed it this way. And, blah, blah, blah. and it's like, who cares? Did someone have a problem, document it, and fix it? Yes. Great. That is helpful. Yeah. End of story. Like, we don't need the commentary. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. There you go. <laughs> Tim, why do you have to speak such harmful truths? <laughs> uh, I mean, to be fair, you still have to buy stuff from us to get the discounts. So we're not going to just, like, give you money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the goal is we're going to start off with supercars. If it works good, we'll probably expand it into other cars like, you know, BMWs and stuff like that. But we wanted to just because because it's a moderated, like curated database. It's not just like yeah blasted with free crap. for all. Yeah, it takes us time it's every not time. Wikipedia. It's not yeah yeah. <laughs> it's it, not Wikipedia. It takes us effort and time to approve all of these things. So we want it to be, you know, we want it to be curated. Thank you for the ten dollars mouse trap, by the way. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Drunk driver is one thing. Texas lawyer, cuckoo driver going on closed road where house rocker falling down is a no no. <laughs> uh, I like that. Uh, um. <laughs> so anyway, it was just an idea we had. We yeah. Wrote a simple solution for it for now. If it takes off, we'll expand it. Full we'll Lotus better. drop down menu. <laughs> oh, by the way, he, Lotus a Spirit de Corsa. He saw the Lotus drop down menu. He could fill it up. There's a cap that we're gonna. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna cap it probably at like hundred bucks. We know, yeah. we know Lotus you Lotus people and Lotus yeah, 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 certain cars else. have a limitation. <laughs> Oh, but that's funny. There, Honestly, there will be a cat. <laughs> it's also kind of motivating because if you own the car and you document, then you can kind of document your own car's problems. So, I don't know. Anyway, it's a, it's a good way for people to help out the community. Did Dan... And then also you could use it to uh, research a potential car that you're about to buy to see right. what issues there that's may or huge. may not be. Yes, That's yeah. huge right there. And yes. once the database is actually established, that's where that would really be beneficial for the community oh because then when they're researching they can go is this a problem i'm willing to accept to get the car i want right. Right. really that, what it comes down to is like or, we, all, we all want what we want right and we want it for whatever reasons we want it how much is it going to actually yeah. cost us yeah. or it, it lets you know what to ask about has this True. issue been addressed True. you know so yeah. Um, did Vivid have any photos of the Mozzie GT Rediffuser? They didn't give me any more photos. So I, I never understood this. Like companies that make these cool products and then they take like one photo on a potato camera. Like, <laughs> and I don't understand why anyone doesn't buy our stuff. It's like, well, bro, I couldn't even see it, you know? Yeah, we can't even market it for you. <laughs> and so like, you know, what are, what are we going to do? Like, anyway, we, we're trying to bring in more of the manufacturers to us directly but we do still do like third party reselling which is kind of more complicated so if you guys didn't know anything that vivid racing sells we can get you whether it's it, on our site or not right whether or not it's on our website anything anything vivid sells we can get and we can get it for cheaper than what you see on vivid's website so yes. we'll hook you up like we don't care we make money so long as we're above our cost we'll hook you up yeah What's the deal with Eng English cars and electrical systems? <laughs> uh, I have one word for you. Lucas. That's why. Lucas? Yeah. All the Lucas electrical systems. They were all garbage. Oh, is was that a, a British electrical company or something? Yep. Oh, yep. okay. 
keep it English, people. Yeah, we're keep it. Like... I feel like they're talking crap about us, oh, and we 100%. can't even tell. Wouldn't, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, of course they are. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm gonna tell you go fuck yourself in French. You won't even know I did that. <laughs> Man, we found a contender for Josh and the the not, profanity. Not Lucas Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Mm. Oui. I actually understand. Oui. Oui. I can't wait to meet Josh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Josh. You may regret saying that if you yeah, do meet him. I don't regret saying it's that. It's only it regretful is what it is. if you're trying to get your car worked on by him. <laughs> yeah, that's in, true. In a time frame. Like, if you don't mind yeah, yeah, the yeah. time frame. ZZ Top dropping the F bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. I'll take that. That's awesome. I'll take that. That's hilarious. ZZ Top. Uh, that's your new nickname. That's now. my new nickname. Yeah, yeah. ZZ Top. Only when you're in Texas, though. Oh, I For years, I wasn't allowed to have this. This is two years. Growth, bro. This is two years. Are you serious? That's two, two years. years? November. November 27th. Man, this my hair years. does not Retirement. grow for crap. Fucking A. Uh, it doesn't seem to grow longer than this, unfortunately. I would love for it to get, like, to here. Uh, <laughs> I hate that, because I'm certainly not a hipster. Uh, that's but whatever. Must be a sharp-dressed man. You're uh. <laughs> I love that we have like this random I, commentary. From I know below. from the back because <laughs> someone asked earlier, "Is Meg on on the thing?" I'm like, and I'm thinking to myself, "No, Meg's bathing the child yeah. right now. No, she's a little busy right she's now." She's busy. But I love the comments, fucking right at the back end of it. It's awesome. <laughs> have I guess me, he's asleep right now. Uh, having me at the F three five five engine video. I need three hundred seventy five quacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Could you imagine if we had him and Josh in the same video? It's like, boom. The quack machine would Baron, overheat. Well, you have to hook us up, Baron. You're already hooking us up tomorrow. <laughs> Jeez, I feel bad now. Oh. Now I feel like i got to do something for you, man. You do so much for us. It's quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. You are Mike, too kind. Someone's saying uh, you need to mic up, Meg, because they can't hear you. <laughs> oh. I've got it on the, the lav mics. I don't have it on the... the the mic Standard up Standard one. Yeah. A quack off. You'll have, to, you'll have to talk into my chest. Oh, here she comes. Uh-oh. She's coming. Oh. Hold hold on. Here here we go. Go. Here we go. Hi, guys. Talk into my chest. Talk into your chest? Yeah, the microphone's right Hi, here. Hi, everybody. I've been busy, you know, raising a child. <laughs> and, and our new son. Oh, that too. Yeah. Mostly, yeah. I, I take a lot of Burn. effort. Uh, which is hotter in the summer, Austin or Orlando? I mean... The actual number and the temperature is hotter here, but I'm sure it's more humid in Orlando. I would I think it's know. more humid in Orlando, yeah. I mean... Matt, are you on here? My buddy Matt lives in Orlando. He claims he watches it, but he never talks. I don't know. Maybe he's here. I did 999 mousetrap since it's Price is Right rules. Ah, but wait, no. You'd want $1. You're yeah, to $1, below. Bob. Below. You got... You, that means you think we're gonna do at least a thousand quacks? That's a lot. Uh, hey, oh, like someone said, Meg, did you lose a bunch of weight? Well, when I gave birth, uh... <laughs> that was an instant seven pounds. That was an instant. <laughs> I was just. That's really more than fat. that, actually, with the water. <laughs> Moses, you can't have his whiskey. <sighs> you want whiskey? Yes. You want whiskey, boy? Oh God, could we? Could you imagine a drunk mo? Um, drunk oh, mo? No. You want drunk mo? No, we don't need drunk no, mo. Drunk mo. Mo mo. Mm. But yeah, no. I mean, honestly, yeah. It uh, the baby weight wasn't too bad to lose because I. Well, this is. I mean, probably some of you know that. No, probably nobody knows this. But when you breastfeed, <laughs> you lose a lot of weight because there's. I mean, if you're pumping like thirty ounces a day, which I've never done quite that much, <clears> but <throat> you can like get eight hundred calories a day. That's like a really hard workout yeah well and the thing about it, if you it's not a one-to-one -one, so if you if the baby consumes one calorie of breast milk you didn't spend one calorie to produce it you no, spent, spent more, more than, than one, one calorie. calorie right yeah which is right it's good it, it, it's good yeah, it's a good ratio for you supercars and breast milk i'm gonna get some i more need to ice. start you want anything? 
No, actually, I need we're to start. We're over. I need to start pumping. Already. Maybe already. I'll lose a yeah, lot yeah. of weight. See how fast it goes? Well, I couldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't. Is that nuts? That. That's crazy. These things always just go by so well, fast. Then, then I'll just wait. Yeah, we. It, we purposely like we used to just kind of let it go, and then we'd get to like an hour and a half, an hour forty-five, and then and then we we're just all tired. But we just kind of started shutting it down. Although, look, like, look, like, you look at the data stream; it's like ticking up right now. More people are showing up. More people up. are coming up. So it's like, oh, do I really want to shut off when there's more people now? But you know, anyway. Jeez, you are. Sometimes, man. <laughs> anyway, water what? sounded like Boston. Well. Wow. Thank you very much for having me on today. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very yeah. much for hosting me down here and having me. And who's who offered the Baron. Wait. Baron? Baron. You'll be Thank him. you very much. I'm gonna get to meet you and I'll he thank is. you in person. Dude. But I'm gonna thank you publicly <laughs> that I had the opportunity to come down and yeah, and get to experience this. Honestly, and, this weekend is my favorite weekend going to Coda. Because F one's nuts. Like it's a circus. You know, and you go for the yeah. experience of seeing the circus. But, like, to actually watch racing and just, like, mm. totally car bro it out, mm. <laughs> this is the weekend because you're just hanging out with a bunch of car dudes, talking smack about cars, getting fucked up on everything, and then just <laughs> having a good day. And it's just awesome. So that's pretty much Yeah. It, okay. Since we have more people here right now, anyone, if you would like to join us this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, at Coda, we have two tickets to... That's it. So you need to get in touch with us. One more quack. Yes, I can be quack. Fuck. Um, fuck. Uh, fuck. Fuck. You were totally going to get me demonetized. I'm sorry. <laughs> this video is so screwed. I thought you wanted a quack. No. I apologize. No, he was like. No, because we can't quack it on the quack. fly. <laughs> Jeez, I'm screwed. Well, this video is going to get demonetized. I apologize. I, whatever. I'm sorry. I mean, you should have given me the brand rules. Well, whatever. I mean, you're an adult. <laughs> <laughs> you can fly in. Fred, you could be here tomorrow. <clears throat> get a ticket. Get a ticket. Come in flying Saturday morning. I'm leaving a on plane. a jet plane. Whoops. Oh, crap. I probably just popped the mic. Sorry. I knocked it over. Sorry about that. I need to get a new uh, microphone cable. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'll order one as soon as this is over. I know, I know. You don't like planes. Dude, I used to work on airplanes. They are safe. Yeah, I like. I actually like flying. Not that I like flying. I like getting to destinations. Driving, dude. You could leave tonight and get here by Saturday. <laughs> dude, Fred drove straight through from California. That's more da That's more dangerous than flying. Oh hell yeah, it is. Especially because like, what? But at the same time, he did it during COVID, and so he hauled ass. He hauled ass. No traffic. No, no I'm, not, I'm not talking about the traffic. I'm talking about, like, the fatigue. Oh, yeah. No, it's... Dude, that's a long drive. Like, it's 16 hours to Phoenix from here. And Phoenix is still, what is it, like, 800 miles from Phoenix to your house, Fred? Something like that? I mean... Where in Cali was he? Uh, he's near L.A., so right. it's a thousand miles from here to Phoenix, and then probably at least another six. I'm gonna say six hundred miles. I don't know what it is. So it's sixteen hundred miles. That's a lot. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tyler is like Fred. You can sleep in. Uh, you can sleep in uh, New Mexico. Fourteen hundred eighty miles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a lot. That's yeah. almost as much that as the uh, Colorado. How much was that for it's you? It's about sixteen. Sixteen hundred. 1,600 miles. Oh, man. man, towing a trailer, that means you're pretty much doing the speed limit. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. <laughs> well, yeah. that's, yeah, it is what it is. On 72, because the cops are there, it's uh -huh. not a bad ride, but you really can't speed on it because the cops are everywhere on 70. Yeah. So. You should have Art's dad on one of your videos. He's very funny and lots of great stories. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it would probably happen at some point, so... Patel hitch on the back of the Ferrari and toy a little sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love it. All right. Well, we're going to shut it down, guys, because yep. it's late. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, so don't forget, check out the new Supercar Issues database. Um, yep. If any of you want to join us this weekend, get Let in us touch know. with us quickly. We've got tickets. Um, 
And then what was the other thing that I talked about? Oh, Colorado. Colorado, tour of Colorado. That's right. It's back on. So September start start getting year. your ducks in a row if you oh, want to go. Oh, actually, we're gonna have another contest where you guys can win stuff. But the videos for that haven't come out yet. But we're doing the same thing for Adam's windshield as we did for my windshield since his windshield got messed up this week. Yeah. So you guys can win some t-shirts and hats and stuff. So Yay! Anyway, good night, all everyone. Right. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for all the donations and everything, yes, guys. we do really appreciate all that. It's Thank you. Thank you. Good night. All right. Good night. And it's over. <laughs>